Hello to all my friends out there. So I want to finish up chatting a bit on three subjects. Atlantis, FEMA camps, and evidence of Agenda 21. Okay, I bought um, a book on Atlantis, and, and it looks pretty bad, like there's really nothing to it. You know, they have some archaeological evidence of ruins, not necessarily evidence of Atlantis. So the problem with Atlantis is the only people that really um, really had anything to say uh, about uh, Atlantis was mostly esoteric stuff. Uh, Plato, what he did is he had, um, it was a city, you know, within one of his works. And then also one of the people who had interest in Atlantis was Edgar Cayce. So a lot of people don't um, don't find that to be uh, credible. So, uh, you know, there's been a lot of um, esoteric uh, information about Atlantis. And one of the interesting uh, things is it's been proposed that that the giants were in, in Atlantis. And the thing about the giants that kind of interesting is possibly they could be uh, carnivorous. Do you remember Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> that giant was going to grind his bones to make his bread. He was a carnivore. So anyway, you know, there's been, you know, there's been giants in history and, and there's been various things written um, on Atlantis. And so um, there's been the, the, the ones that I kind of uh, go, go towards is uh, it could be off the, the coast of Florida and the Bahamas or off the coast of Portugal, a huge continent. This book that I got wants to spread it all over the earth and say, no, Atlantis is a continent that was submerged. And the point that I think is interesting is that it could have been uh, preserved and somehow the inhabitants could make their way to the surface somehow. As to whether that's happened or not, I don't know. Uh, as to whether uh, Atlantis really exists or not, um, I think, uh, I think it does. Possibly it is, um, it is, uh, uh, not a human place. It's more like, a, a non-human. There, there could be non-humans. They could be spirits or, uh, demons, something like that. But, um, I think I see evidence of their influence in the world. So uh, the next thing I wanted to mention was FEMA camps. Uh, the thing that is creepy about FEMA camps, you know, um, the common sense show one of his friends had to disappear before, you know, he was murdered because maybe some bad stuff was going on in FEMA camps. Okay, what other kind of camps do we know of that were bad camps? concentration camps so you can just think well what were all the bad things going on in concentration camps all kinds of bad things uh, mostly they were uh, victimizing helpless people so that is creepy when it comes to uh, FEMA camps and another thing is there could be um, there could be underground uh, bases and all kinds of hideous stuff could be going on underground so uh, it's best to stockpile your food and avoid uh, avoid FEMA camps. Another thing that is very creepy is how they seem to be fenced, like at uh, the Walmart FEMA camp locations. And, uh, uh, and the Walmarts out here um, have some very scrappy looking shelves. Um, I've heard that uh, the Walmarts could be uh, made into FEMA camps, which is very creepy and what could be going on in those uh, FEMA camps. No, no, but if bad stuff was going on, you could just replace FEMA with concentration. Okay, and then evidence of Agenda 21. Okay, Agenda 21 would be where 
the population was driven to big cities and then in those big cities we could be attacked by uh, disease we could be attacked by um, all kinds of natural disasters uh, power outages food shortages and all that kind of stuff so when uh, when you see these fires and these um, floods and these disasters that seem to be um, attacking uh, less sparsely populated areas. It's also been postulated that maybe they want, um, they want the land that they're driving people out of for some reason, like uh, underground tunnelways or, you know, uh, they have uses for the land where they're trying to land grab land. So, uh, you know, one of the things that's dangerous is, is uh, your apartments. Like in uh, socialistic uh, countries, you know, they're all living in apartments. And I was watching um, a video, and what it was, was a brother and a sister marry. Well, they couldn't marry because they were brother and sister, but they had a few children. And so the state took the children, but the other thing is they were constantly driven from the places where they were trying to dwell. And so um, something that's really uh, creepy too is that um, social ranking, like in China, they rank you, oh, well, this person needs your resources more than you do. I think I had that experience from the last... <laughs> Uh, possible they were going to get more money from uh, Section 8. Possible the managers were going to lease the apartment free to someone when it was supposedly being prepared. All kinds of stuff. Possible they were just going to get another um, another uh, deposit. You know, we had a bad experience. Uh, we had a bad experience that same year. Uh, and, and they don't uh, they don't hold to the leases at all. They can just evict you. So... Uh, if the Agenda 21 does take place, it's going to put the renters. And all the rich people are buying these uh, huge apartments. And what do you think is supposed to be happening in these huge apartments? Well, the homeowners are, are going to diminish. And maybe if Agenda 21 uh, gets more prevalent, people are going to be living in those apartments. Um, in some of those super cities in um, Asia, I heard that it was just about building them, not so much as, um, you know, really um, ripping off the resources of the people and building these huge structures that no one was going to live in. So it's hard to say on that. So um, I think uh, this, uh, okay, the three, the three issues... Uh, the three issues of Atlantis, FEMA camps, and evidence of a 20, Agenda 21 all might be interrelated. So the idea of the Atlantis culture, uh, according to like this book I'm looking at, is in the world why these huge civilizations would be, um, would be constructed in ways that uh, humans can't figure out how that happened. Well, it's possible if the giants are in Atlantis, that uh, they constructed some of that, and they might be coming, you know, to uh, to the surface, and all these things could be connected. So uh, best just to keep your eye out for these issues. Do I see um, evidence of of building of empires at the expense of the population? Uh, do people seem to be disappearing? And if so, where are they going? And do I see evidence of Agenda 21? I think I do. I think I do. And another thing is, if we go more socialistic, we'll just barely have enough money for rent and food. No cars, you guys. None of that kind of stuff. Uh, if you start seeing the... Um, gas going up so that it's very hard to afford driving a car that is a evidence of agenda 21 you're supposed to find other ways to get to work a bike or walking or the transits so uh that is the end of my chats for today on these three subjects 
And if you have any comments, if you will leave them, or if you do a video, please let us know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.